What inspired you to be a part of radio? Well, it's something that goes back to when I was just a little bitty kid. I was only child, and when I went to bed at night, I'd have a transistor radio in right next to my pillow, and I'd always listen to the overnight shows. And then originally, it was Larry King down in WIOD in Miami, and then uh, then it was, I believe, it was WKAT uh, in uh, in Miami also. And I became friends with Jerry Winchner, who was the overnight host on there, and I would call in from time to time. He was a pilot, just like I was a pilot myself, and I'd see him at the airport. And, and uh, so I would call in from time to time on his show. And then one thing led to another through my career. And in my 50s, I started uh, guesting on different radio talk shows and uh, filling in and then becoming co-host of different shows. And then a producer, and now I'm general manager and program director of WDBF Radio, and uh, also produced the Dick Farrell Show and and the Margaret Nicoletti Show, Born Musician, and Captain Hook's Music Hour, and along with some other things that we have in the works. But uh, that's just, uh, it just fell in at the right time, at the right place, and I never, never pictured in a million years I'd be doing this when I'm pushing 60, but here I am. 